Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Leftist media reports on Kanye missing the amazing story about Trump's big heart. When President Donald Trump welcomed Kanye West to the White House, the leftist media went nuts. CNN's Bakari Sellers said, "Kanye West is what happens when Negroes don't read." These types of disgusting attacks were the norm. But there were other celebrities at the White House yesterday, as President Donald Trump signed the Music Modernization Act. Beach Boys member Mike Love shocked everyone when he told an amazing story about Trump. You'll love this. The only story the leftist media reported on yesterday was about Kanye West visiting President Trump in the Oval Office. The leftist media attacked West and President Trump in an extremely vicious way completely overlooking a story they never would have overlooked if Barack Obama had been president. CNN's Tara Setmeyer pronounced Kanye the token Negro of the Trump administration. She dialed her attack up to 10. No one should be taking Kanye West seriously, Setmeyer decreed. Why not? Because, she said, he clearly has issues. He's already been hospitalized. Let's repeat that, no one should be taking Kanye West seriously. He clearly has issues. He's already been hospitalized. They also called the president a major manipulator who was using and abusing Kanye West, as they mocked the rap star. The Intercept reports, after mocking West for his hospitalization, Setmeyer quickly added, You know not to trivialize mental health issues dash something she had just blatantly done and then proceeded immediately to do again, adding, But I mean obviously, Kanye has taken a turn in a very strange way. This dominated the news cycle with everyone missing what happened while President Trump was signing the Music Modernization Act. Original Beach Boys member Mike Love spoke about something Americans never knew about President Trump. He was very close with Whitney Houston and tried to save her when she spiraled out of control. Rolling Stone reports, Beach Boys singer Mike Love was at the White House to watch Donald Trump sign the Music Modernization Act into law, and when he stepped up to the podium he went way off topic to heap praise onto the president for his supposed effort to help Whitney Houston in her time of need. Thank you so much for your support of music historically, Mike Love said. I remember you tried your best to help get Whitney Houston in some kind of shape. I remember being at Mar-a-Lago with this guy right here. He had, billionaire investor, Ron Perlman come down. You tried your best to help Whitney and she's not the only one you've benefited and tried. People can say what they want, but you've always been a big supporter of some of the best music that America has ever made. It's unclear how exactly Trump tried to help Houston, but he did attend her wedding to Bobby Brown in 1992 and remained a big fan of hers for years. She was a friend of mine, Trump told Wendy Williams in 2012. She really did lose her voice to a large extent. It was very sad. In Trump's estimation, Houston's decision to appear on Bobby Brown's short-lived 2005 reality show Being Bobby Brown sent her on a downward spiral that culminated in her death. She's a superstar, he told Williams. She shouldn't be doing a reality show on cable called, Being, Bobby Brown. He wanted to do it very bad and she didn't want to do it. They showed things on that show that were terrible. I think that was the beginning of the end for Whitney. I thought it was a terrible thing. Many make the mistake while viewing President Trump's big personality as being someone who toots his own horn about everything he has done that is kind. While Trump will boast about his astute business sense, he shies away from disclosing the many things he has done to help other people. Can you imagine if this was Barack Obama? The leftist media would have jumped at this story and they would be blasting Barack as the best kindest man around. Sadly, we may never know this other side of Donald Trump. But it's comforting to know he really is a good man who will help his friends in need. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.